welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming for you a festive speed clean. So I'm basically going to be cleaning my house from top to bottom, getting ready to put our Christmas decorations up. There is a decorate with me video to come. So this is more just cleaning the house, getting ready for it, getting it smelling like Christmas and also getting our Christmas sheets on and stuff like that. So I really hope you enjoy it. If you like speed cleaning videos, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and stick around. I make them all the time and one British newspaper has even dubbed me the speed cleaning queen, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving that title. And this video is also a collaboration with Rebecca Lamb. She is another one of my collab giveaway winners and I chose her channel because I really enjoy her videos. She makes quite similar videos to the ones that I make and she is a mum of two boys One that is three years old and also a very tiny like new baby as well So if you're at that same stage, you have a young baby definitely check out her channel She makes routine videos speed cleaning hauls So yeah, I love her channel and I would love for you to go over check her out show her some love She's definitely one to watch so I'll put the links to her channel in my description box And she is also doing a festive speed clean, but without further ado, let's get into the cleaning and to make it actually more festive, I thought I would wear a Santa hat, as you do. Let's go. So first off, I want my house smelling like Christmas, so I'm gonna make my very own DIY Christmas surface spray. So all you have to do is get an old empty spray bottle and then some scented Zaflora, and I have one in Winter Spice. And I'm gonna put two capfuls in the water and then one down the drain because it can make your drains smell really, really nice as well. And I'm basically gonna use this DIY surface spray on everything and it will leave my house smelling like Christmas. So I'm just gonna get on, oh, let's start out with the kitchen. I'm just gonna put all of our stuff on the surfaces away, like our bread, and oh my gosh, my recycling has been crazy this month. I think it's because I'm doing so much more online shopping than normal and so many leaflets are coming through. So our recycling is a bit out of control at the moment. So I'm gonna sort this area out empty the bins and then give it a good clean under the bins because this is something that I don't do enough. So I'm gonna mop it as well. And then I'm gonna wipe down all of our surfaces. We have a gloss kitchen, so literally every fingerprint shows up. But I'm gonna do our cupboards with a glass spray because I find that that gives it the best shine. And then I'm gonna use my surface spray on all of the surfaces in the room. And like I said, it gives off a really nice scent. If you're not sure what Zaflora is, it's something I've literally just discovered because my friend was recommending it to me. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I'm not sure if you can get it in the US, but I'm really enjoying using it because there's so many different ways that you can use it. But now I'm gonna get on and clean the play area. I'm gonna put all of the toys away that the boys had out this morning. So all of the Lego, their pajamas are just randomly on the couch. So I'll put them away. And then I'm gonna clean the surfaces there as well. I like to leave out a few little toys that actually look quite nice. And then I'm going to hoover the rug. I love this rug so much. It's just from Ikea and it's so thin that once a week I put it in the washing machine and give it a really good clean because the kids eat on it and slime on it and it just gets really messy. And then I'm gonna hoover our whole living area with my Dyson V6. This is still going strong and I am loving it. It recently slowed up a bit, but I took it apart and washed it out really thoroughly. I found a video on how to do this and it's been really great, so I would recommend doing that if yours is slowing up. But I'm just gonna clean the whole kitchen. I'm being really silly here. I'm listening to Christmas songs and it definitely made cleaning so much easier. And then I'm gonna mop with the mop that everyone goes crazy for. It's my spray mop where the canister comes off and you can put any cleaning products in it that you want to. So again, I'm just gonna use warm water and then a couple of catfuls of my Winter Spice Zaflora. So this is gonna disinfect the floor and it's also gonna make it smell really nice and Christmassy. This will last like weeks as well, like depending on how much I use it, but I don't normally have to refill it that much. And I always use like a new mop head on it. They get really dirty, so I ended up ordering extra ones online. But I'm just gonna run around and clean the floor. And this is so quick. I think that's why I love this mop so much. And now our main living area is done. 
Next up, it's onto our front room. So I'm just gonna put some things away, like the kids' bags, turn the fire on, because I think it looks really festive, and then sort out the cushions on our couch. The kids do this to the couch all the time. It's so frustrating, but I really like the way they look when it's all done, so I'm just gonna go with it. Then I'm gonna hoover our rug, and then I normally pick up the rug and hoover under it, and hoover all of the rest of the floor in the room, because some crumbs can definitely get under there. Then I'm gonna dust everything on our mantelpiece and take it all off and give it a good wipe with this Method Cleaner. It is specifically for granite surfaces and because I love our new fireplace so much, I'm just like desperate to keep it really nice. So I'm sure you could use other cleaning products on this, but I just feel safer using this specific marble cleaner. Then I'm gonna light some Christmas candles. This one is gingerbread and it smells amazing. And now it's onto my office. You know my nice brand new office that was really nice and tidy on my Instagram? Well, it normally looks like this. It is like a dumping ground for like all the deliveries I get and everything that I do. Um, so I just really need to sort it out. So I'm gonna put away all my paperwork and boxes and things. Give it a good wipe with a glass cleaner because the top surface of my desk is glass. So I'm gonna give it a good wipe and then I'm gonna dust down all of the prints on my shelves. And I'm especially going to wipe down this one because it is my silver play button. It came, you guys. And I just wanna say thank you so much. It is like my prized possession and I love it. Every time I look at it, I feel so proud of myself, so thank you so much for subscribing. Um, so yeah, that is my office, and that is the front room, all nice and tidy. Then I'm gonna go upstairs and clean the bedrooms, and I'm gonna use my cleaning caddy, which I love. I found it in Dunelms. I'm gonna start out in Fraser's bedroom. His room is the newest and probably my favorite. I'm gonna wipe down all of the surfaces with my Christmas spray, and then put his books away, but I'm gonna leave the Christmasaurus out. I'm also gonna wipe down his windowsill, and also give his windows a good clean as well, and then air out the room as well. Then I'm gonna take all of the sheets off of his bed, because at this time of year, I normally put some cute Christmas sheets on. I think even just a duvet cover of a different season can make such a difference in a room. So I got these new ones for him, I found them in Next, and I really liked the colors. I thought they would really suit his room. So he will absolutely love these. They're new for this year. Then I'm gonna give his radiators a little wipe as well, and then put any toys away that are out in his room. He's got these big covers where I can hide everything, which is amazing. I'm also gonna hoover his room with my Dyson V6 as well, and then that is his room done. Then it's onto my second son, Caleb's room, so I'm gonna wipe down his windowsill and also clean his windows, and then again, air out his room while I clean it. I'm gonna put his books away and then wipe down the surfaces with my Christmas surface spray again. And then I'm gonna sort out his bed because I also have some festive sheets for him. And then I'm gonna organize this corner of his room. This is a little corner where he does fancy dress or he'll sit and read a book. And it can get quite messy and out of control with toys. So I'm gonna give it a hoover underneath and then try and put the toys back in like some sort of order. Sort out his fancy dress clothes and his masks and things like that and then hoover his room. I'm gonna take his rug up. His rug is also great because it's the kind of one I can throw in the washing machine. But I'm gonna give his room a good little hoover and then change the sheets on his bed. And this year I've got him some really cool ones. They are these Elf Yourself sheets. So basically there is also a hat on the pillowcase. So when he lays in his bed, he looks like he's an elf. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with these this year. Next up is onto our family bathroom. It's a pretty small family bathroom, but I'm gonna start out with a little bit of bleach in the toilet and then I'm gonna use my blue cloth because blue is for loo. So to avoid cross-contaminating, I tend to use different colored cloths for different things. So I'm gonna clean the toilet with that and my spray and then I am going to give it a good wipe and then what I like to do is leave the toilet brush like that so it can dry out before I put it back and away. Then I picked up these cute little hand towels from Primark that are festive. I thought it would just like make the house feel more festive. Then I'm gonna clean the sink with my pink cloth because pink is for sink. And I'm just gonna take everything off, give it a good wipe down. I do do this like regularly. When the boys are in the bath, sometimes I'll just give it a wipe. So this area is normally very clean. I'm also gonna wipe down the mirrors and I've just got it on my face there. Um, and then also quickly do the floor. But again, I sometimes clean the floor when the boys are just in the bath and I'm there. 
Next up, I'm moving on to Jackson's little nursery. He's got quite a few toys in there because I tend to put him in there when I'm getting ready in the morning. So I'm just gonna tidy up those toys and give it a quick hoover. It's normally pretty clean, but I do need to clean up his changing area. So I'm gonna just organize everything, put some things away, and then give it a good wipe, but I'm gonna use a paper towel because I really don't wanna get any germs from anything else onto this area. So that is Jackson's little nursery, all nice and clean, and then it's onto the final bedroom, which is mine. So I'm just gonna put some clothes away and then take the sheets off of our bed because I also have some festive sheets for our room. I just picked these ones up in Next and I really liked the pattern on them. They have little polar bears all over them and I really liked the colors and I thought they were really festive. So I'm just gonna change the pillowcases and then put the sheet inside out and quickly put it on our duvet cover. And then I'm gonna add, obviously, See our pillows, do an army roll off the bed <laughs> by the looks of it. And um, yeah, I actually just bought this new like chunky knit blanket thing to go on the end of our bed, but I'm really not sure about it. I kind of like the way it looks, but it's so heavy. I'm almost regretting buying it. But anyway, I'm just gonna quickly hoover our room and then I'm also gonna tidy up my vanity area. This definitely builds up with clothes and just cosmetics and paperwork and random stuff, cow poles there as well. So I really just need to clear everything away and give it a good wipe with a glass spray because it is glass. And finally, that is my room done. Right, so I have cleaned the whole house and I'm feeling so much better and ready to put up the decorations. But in the interest of being real, I just wanna show you one room that I have not got around to doing. And that would be our laundry room. Take a look at that, that is because I did not get a chance to fold any laundry yesterday. That is the backlog that I get if I miss just one day. But anyway, I've got to go to London now, so I'm gonna just have to leave that room for Matt when he gets home. Sorry. <laughs> Bye guys.